Yet still, everybody thinks that they're, they're Jamaican, they're, 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 they're Trinidadian, they're Puerto Rican, they think they're African American. Where is Africa America on the map? It doesn't exist, but you call yourself African American. That doesn't make any sense. Everybody, go back to your history, you'll see that Africa and America were named after two men. They were named after two men, but yes, so you call yourself African American. That's a damn shame. You don't even know who you are. Read. Yeah, the curse when they were spread all over the old earth. Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 15. But it shall come to pass, if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Most High Power. You see? Now we, 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 we were given laws and we were given statutes by the Most High. And he said, if you didn't listen to me, this is what was going to happen. Continue. To observe and do all his commandments and his statutes, which I command thee this day. You see? And another thing too, we were never given a religion. It was laws and statutes that we were supposed to follow. There's no such thing as, a, as religion when it comes to the Bible, but yet still, you go to church and they use the Bible and turn it into a religion. They took the law, statutes, and commandments for the Israelites, the Israelites only, and turned it into a religion. And if you look up the word religion, it stems from the word religio, which means to hold, to hold down and, and conquer. Continue. And his statutes which I command thee this day, that all these curses shall come upon thee. See? All these what? All these curses shall come upon thee. All these curses. Yes, they'll be living in poverty. Everywhere you go, you find a so-called black man, a so-called Hispanic man, a so-called Native American man living in poverty. Why do you think that is? Why do you think no other nation lives like that? Because we're under a curse. Why are we under a curse? Because we're the true Jews of the Bible. We're the true Israelites. Read that again from the top. 28, Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 15. But it shall come to pass, if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Most High, thy power, to observe and do all his commandments and his statutes, which I command thee this day, that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. See, all these curses will come upon thee and overtake thee. Now let me get the one with the spread around the world and then it took the spread around the world. Oh, it took this out. Oh, I keep it. See, now we, we fell under curses. You know what I'm saying? But everybody thinks that it's all good. You got to get a nice job and you'll be all right. You got to get a nice education and you'll be all right. Yet still, the education that you receive is, is false. All the education that you receive is not even going to benefit you. Just give me 56 then. Deuteronomy 28 and 56. 54. 54. So that the man that is tender among you. You see, and why do you think that the so-called black man, when you look at another black man in the eye, they want to fight? Why do you think that is? It's because of this scripture right here. Read it. So that the man that is tender among you and very delicate, his eye shall be evil toward his brother. You see that? His eye shall be evil toward his brother. That's right. Why you think when two Asian men look at each other, or two white men look at each other, they don't fight? Because they're not under that curse. Only a certain people on this earth are under that curse. Why you think every time a Hispanic looks at another Hispanic in the face, they want to fight? What you looking at? What's good, Holmes? Why you think that happens? Read it from the top. Deuteronomy 28 and 54. So that the man that is tender among you. See, before then, when we were with the laws, we were kind to each other. We used to greet each other with a hug. Ask how the family's doing. We used to care for our brothers. But now we're under the curse. What happens? And very delicate. His eye shall be evil toward his brother. See, his eye will be evil toward his brother. Because we're in a rat race. Everybody's trying to get to that top echelon where they will never reach because they're under a curse and they don't even know it. You're Israelites and you don't even know it. You just care about a nice job in America, right? You just care about a nice house, a nice car, the American dream. And that's the American curse. And you don't even realize it. Continue. And toward the wife of his bosom. See? Now which household is, is commonly known 
for having single parents. I don't see Chinese households with single parents. I don't see white households with single parents. I don't see uh, East Indian homes with single parents. It's only blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans with single parent households. And the answer is in the Bible, and we don't even care. Read that again. And toward the wife of his bosom, and toward the remnant of his children, which he shall leave. See, which he shall leave. That's in the Bible. That's why you have single parent households. But yet still, we, don't, we think we're all equal, right? We all the same. Everybody's here on this earth supposed to love one another, right? But what is the definition of love? What is the real definition of love? We don't even know what love is. First John 5, 3. We don't even know the definition of love. We think that loving is, is, is what? Helping a brother, helping another nation out? He doesn't care what color they are? Huh? That's not love. Let me get that definition of love. Let's find out what love means according to God. 1 John chapter 5 and verse 3. For this is the love of the Most High. See, this is the love of the Most High. Continue. That we keep His commandments. That we do what? That we keep His commandments. See? That's what we need to do. Keep His commandments. It never, it never said anything about religion. Practice religion. It says keep the commandments. But yet still we want to follow Christianity, Jehovah Witness, everybody want to be a Rasta. Only want to use that excuse to smoke weed. That's all we want to do. Smoke, drink, and have fun. Read that again from the top. 1 John chapter 5 and verse 3. For this is the love of the Most High, that we keep His commandments. See? That we keep His commandments. And his, com his commandments aren't hard. And his commandments are not grievous. See that? His commandments are very easy to do. But yet still, we believe that the Christian church is telling us the truth. Jehovah Witness is telling us the truth. You know, we want to follow Krishna. We want to follow Kabbalah, all that, all that garbage. But the Most High is telling you what the answer is. Why do you think we're the ones that have all the so-called swag? Why you think we the ones that are most talented? Why you think we the most, we the strongest? Why you think we the fastest? Y'all don't, y'all ever thought about that? You don't see a white man jumping his. If you look at the NBA right now, I don't even watch NBA like that, and I can tell you, NBA is 98 percent so-called black man. We the ones that have all the talent. Yet still, we want to be like everybody else. Right. And, and, and we don't even realize everybody is following us, yet so they hate us. Right. We don't even realize. You got it right, Deuteronomy 7 6. Uh, Read that. I'll get another one for you. Go ahead. Right. Yeah, you know? Everybody believes that that everybody is equal, but yet still you're the ones that conquer everything you do, dominate everything you do. Everywhere you go, you create a trend. You never thought about that? Let me get salt in the air also. You never thought about that? We're the ones that, 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 that create a trend. We're the ones that, that dominate everything. Let me know what you mean. Read that. Psalms chapter 135 and verse 4. For the Most High has chosen Jacob unto him, unto himself, and Israel for his peculiar treasure. See that? Peculiar treasure. You so-called blacks and Hispanics are a peculiar treasure. You don't even realize it. Why do you think you're the most talented? Who dominates the music industry? Who dominates the sports world? But yet still, you think everybody's equal. Everything we do, we dominate. Everything we do, we dominate. Go ahead, read that again. <clears throat> Everybody believes that Everybody's the same on the earth. That's not true. Why? Because we bleed the same? Doesn't a dog bleed the same color? Huh? But yes, so you, you wouldn't consider yourself a dog, right? But yes, so we all the same. No, we're not the same. Read that. Read it. Psalm chapter 135 and verse 4. For the Most High has chosen Jacob unto himself and Israel for his peculiar treasure. See that? A peculiar treasure. Yeah, Deuteronomy 7 6. A peculiar treasure. Yes, yeah, so you, you, you lower yourself, you lower your standards, 
You want to wear hair of another nation. But you're supposed to be wearing your own hair. All you so-called black women, all you want to do is buy hair of another nation. Do you know that you contribute billions of dollars to the Asians and the East Indians buying their hair, wearing it? That's why y'all bugged out of y'all minds. Y'all have no respect for yourselves and your, your spouse because you're wearing hair from another nation. You have royal hair and you don't even realize it. But you want to, you want to go to the store and buy some weave from another nation, blonde hair from another nation, but it's not even yours. And you, and you wonder why y'all act so crazy when y'all do. Read that. Deuteronomy 7 and verse 6. For thy art and holy people. See that? A holy people. That means holy means separate. When you go to church, they tell you holy means something else. Holy just means separate. That's all holy means. You are a holy people, a separate people. Meaning you're separated from every other people on the earth. Read it again. Read it again from the top. Deuteronomy 7 and 6. For thou art an holy people unto the Most High, thy power. For the Most High thy power hath chosen thee to be a special see, people. He chose you to be a special people. So if you're chosen, that means you're chosen from amongst other people. So how can we all be the same if we're chosen? That doesn't make sense. Continue. A special people unto himself, above all people. See that? Above. You're not the same as everybody else. You're not the same as these devils, these so-called white people. You're not the same as them. They're lower than you. Let me get 2nd Ezra 5, 5, uh, 24, right? They're lower, they're lower than you. Why do you think they do what they do? Why do you think these white women have sex with dogs? Why do you, why do you think that? You don't see black women doing that. Why do, you, why, why do you think white men love to have sex with men? And they, and, 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 they, and they uplift it. Back in the day, a black man, if he was a homosexual, he'd be hiding. He'd be ashamed. But the white man comes out, and he's, he's flamboyant, and he's, and he's proud of it. And that's why we, some of our brothers now are being the same. We are higher than these people. They're dogs compared to us. Yes, yeah, so you want to be just like them. You want to wear blonde hair like Becky. Second Ezra. Second Ezra is uh, 654. 654. Yeah, you want to go around acting like 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 Becky, like you a white girl with blonde hair. You're you're black. You have royal hair. Wear your own hair. But yet still, we want to act like we are other nations, and they hate us. They envy you because they know who you are. They envy you. They don't, they don't like you. But yes, so you want to be like them. Go ahead. Second Ezra chapter 6 and verse 54. And after these, Adam also, whom thou madest Lord of all thy creatures, of him come we all. See? Everybody, everybody came from Adam, right? Everybody came from Adam. Blacks, Hispanics, whites, Chinese, whoever. We all came from Adam. But guess what? Continue. And the people also whom thou hast chosen. See that? Whom thou hast chosen. Who are the chosen? The Israelites. Continue. 55. All this have I spoken before thee, O Most High, because thou hast made it the world for our sakes. See? The world is for our sakes. The whole earth was created for you, and you don't even realize that. The whole earth is supposed to be your kingdom. But you want to be equal with the white man. You want to be equal with the Chinese. And they hate you. They envy you. But you want to be like them. Continue. 56. As for other people. See, the other people. Who are the other people? Anybody that's not Israel. Continue. Which also come from Adam. See, they also came from Adam. Everybody came from Adam, right? Continue. Thou hast said that they are nothing. They are what? They are nothing. See that? The Bible said that. That's I didn't right. have to say it. That's right. The Bible said it. They are nothing. But yes, so you want to be in the same leagues as these white people. And you're above them. They are nothing according to the Most High. The Most High says they are nothing. But you want to be just like them, right? Continue. 
but unto spittle. See? You're worse than spit. But yes, so you want to be just like spit, right? Let me get Acts 3.19. At the end of the day, we have to come back to our true nationality. You have to come back to the law, statutes, and commandments of the Most High. That's the only way you're going to be reestablished on this earth. But yes, so you want to follow everybody else, you're going to be on the bottom. Below them. Read that. Acts chapter 3 and verse 19. Repent ye therefore and be converted that your sins may be blotted out when the times of refreshing shall come from the presence of the Most High. See that? We need to repent, people. We need to repent. We need to come out of these homosexual spirits. We need to come out of these whoremongering spirits. We need to come out of these envious spirits. These abomination-loving spirits. We have to come out of these. And with that, I say Shalom, death and destruction to America. And Kum Yashala, rise to Israel. Kum Yashala. Kum Yashala.